Well, Aaron's taking a mental health day, from practice at least, because apparently I'm being, I don't know, this week has not been great on me and apparently it's not working well with him either. So, there probably won't be any filming from practice. <laughs> Morning, morning. So yeah, Aaron's on a mental health day. Week's been a little rough. We had a couple aftershocks, I guess is what the public wants to call things after a large earthquake. There's more earthquakes. And it takes a bit for me to regain total composure. But we had our little, mm, we had a little, we had a discussion this morning that was basically a small. It was, we don't even fight anymore. It's just a heated discussion now. So yeah, probably not gonna be any film from practice unless Mark says, no, don't work, you know. You took a big hit. I took a big hit, so what? <laughs> or your hamstring cramped. My hamstring cramped. Whatever. Everybody's out doing their dog thing this morning. That's cool. So yeah, I'll try to get something if I can. And without Aaron, there's basically gonna be no practice video this week for the Pitbulls channel. Our cameraman took a day off. <laughs> it's fine, he needs to take a day off. Everyone deserves to take a day off. That's what mental health days are, apparently. They just don't want to be... The fact that there's going to be no video if I'm in practice and there's nobody video recording anything, it's just, there's no YouTube channel and the brand suffers a little bit. And it just, I gotta get composure back. Aaron's right, I'm emotionally compromised. I have been since the meltdown. It's just not a lot of good things have been happening to reinforce good feelings. Morning, folks. It's Saturday, 9.30. It's Saturday, 9.30. Um, I am obviously not with TJ. He has the camera, so this is on my phone. Um, I just... We had a bit of a fight. I didn't want to go to practice, effectively. That's the very short version. Um, yeah, so I'm home. I'll be here until he gets back. Um, probably just gonna fetch around on the computer a bit. I need to figure out a lot. Because one of the things he mentioned this morning was mentioned, grumbled, yelled at me about, I don't even know. Um, was that, and it's been a recurring issue, there doesn't seem to be anything I want to do. Um, there's stuff I do, I fudge around on my computer, I play games, I play D&D, but there's nothing really that's I guess the issue is there's nothing that's our thing. He has football, I have computer stuff, but he also has computer stuff, but it's each of our things individually. Yeah. So I need to do some figuring on that, and I also need to figure out my health insurance for mental health stuff, because yeah, it's, it's not normal, healthy, I'm not really sure, to have so few multi-person hobbies. So yeah, um, I'll be figuring on that, I'll be fussing around, I'm gonna, I reviewed my finances, I'm doing well on a budget for the first time in like a long, long time. Uh, so I'm going to order my replacement CPU, see if we can get that to solve the issue. Um, it'll be an FM2 this time. Yeah, so I'll chat with you if anything interesting happens. Alright, that's... I don't have to take Cephas home, that's good. It's... Ooh, meh, it's so gray outside. You know what? I got so much shit in my hands right now. Ah. Ah, ow. Huh. And so, 
uh, Aaron, like I said, he has his day off. So, I said I should go get some water. <laughs> I go put the stuff in the car. I got all. I'm not making any sense. My leg doesn't necessarily hurt, but we weren't going too terribly hard in practice. So, last of that, I'm probably going to have like a heel spasm later. <laughs> That's just how that goes. Huh. Oh, this is smart. Oh, I got to listen to that with one finger. Huh. You guys remember this? After practice in the car. We had so low numbers today. So low numbers. So, I mean, it would have been, it, the thing is, is it wouldn't have been beneficial for me to take the time off so I could film. And take fucking gloves off, TJ. Got a lot of oohs and ahs, and by and large made less mistakes. Of course, actually, now that I think about it, aside from the meltdown, I made just as many mistakes last week as I made this week. Actually, a little less. Because going over the film that Aaron took, I made actually not that many mistakes. But we were sticking a lot with some installs this week that we put in this year that weren't from last year. So, it's like the Renegades game all over again. Oh, do you sit there fine? Holy shit. You're actually real cool. Take your glove off. Now that I have both hands free. <laughs> Take all the shit off. And just go back home, maybe. At the... I was gonna say, I was gonna go buy Taco Bell and pick up a case of Lupa, but. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What? Did you fall out? The strap kind of came up over my ear, and I thought I might have pulled it out of the back plate. Back area? Anyways. So, yeah, that's. that's, that's I mean, we did slow runs. I mean, we still kind of hit. Ran my happy ass into coffee. I'm not going to be ashamed. Or, you know, that was... Not that it was unfun, but it's sort of like, you know, when you get to run yourself into the hot body. I need a new ear plate. Air pad. How come I'm going to go ask Willie where to get that? I mean, look you know at that shit. Yeah. That's something we should probably do. Aaron got paid. We need to figure that one out. But yeah, we had four DBs. Four receivers. We weren't able to run most of, too terribly much of anything. That's probably, that's why we were so low on numbers. Or that's why we were only running a few of the installs because we run typically five DBs. Um, safety corner with respects to left and right and then a field safety. Um, so, yeah, there's that. But anyways, I will see you guys back at the house, but yesterday. Welcome back. So it was Saturday, now it's Friday night. This isn't going on, this isn't one take. I already did that and cried my eyes out. So, <laughs> yeah, they're gold. I love how he presents it to me. He's like, here. And I'm like, just hand it. It's uh, the things from Taco Bell. He says Lupa. He says Lupa. Which made my phone. I know. But I was too busy talking about various other things and I was like, I need to put it down so that I can. But yeah. So the dissection of what this thing is is apparent. I'm just holding it so the camera can see it. Okay. Um, we got steak ones because apparently they're less in calories than the beef ones, but so It's got its own shell Is Okay, that's not a standard case of Ch Whatever Chalupa shell <laughs> Yeah, it's actually a, a it's a basically a pita Yeah <coughs> Their pitas before is basically what it is the gordita shell <coughs> the gordita shell is basically a pita so, mm. well, that's, the steak is really potent. So it, I'm kind of, I don't see the cheese. The cheese may be all. Sometimes you get burritos where all the sour cream and guac are at one end because 
you know, people don't know how to make things right. Any cheese in the, any crust cheese, I suppose, in that bite. But I like the texture of the shell. Damn it, there was a Snapchat filter. At that and after effect that had the quesalupa. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's right in the middle. I probably need to bite down next because I took it off the top. Whatever. You guys see that little like hole right there? It basically had nacho cheese on it. And it's not tons and tons of cheese. And I think most of the difference in calories is definitely in the ch in the shell itself, not even the cheese. There's basically a double double chalupa shell yeah. almost. But it's tasty. Mm-hmm. Again, the beef would probably be better because then you would be able to taste more because the steak is just so potent. Which I'm a huge fan. But anyways, it's basically a chalupa. It's a regular supreme chalupa because I don't actually have the other one, so it's just a chalupa. But it's got this special little bread thing for a, anyways. That's that. Uh, comment below, like if you like them, and let us know how you feel about them, what you think should be done about them. Because I have a feeling these are gonna stick around, but not nearly as long as they could. I think they're going to have the cheesy gritty to crunch. They're going to go and come back and go and come back. Yeah. And you're going to feed people off of them. Well, anyways, I have a cheesy gritty to crunch to eat. And then I'm going to probably get you more marks and stuff. Cool. Whatever. Let's zip back to Saturday after practice. So we did a little bit of time traveling there. <laughs> it was last night. Now it's today. And it's to 154. <laughs> I am... Low calorie, so I'm a little like dizzy right now. Yeah, and stuff. Um, Aaron was playing Diablo 3 with Tom when I came home. I'm going to Red Robin now, probably because he had his little bit of breakfast, and I may have been around 10. Sounds about right. I just know that he was in bed when I left at 8.30 and he probably would have sat around and done more. It didn't seem like you were going to go back to sleep. But you probably stayed in and played with your tum played with the tumblers and stuff an extra long period of time. So, yeah. I'm thinking... Maybe 9.30. 9.30, 10 o'clock. I mean, get up and shower at 9.30, so... Yeah. Weirdo guy looking. <laughs> He's coming down the thing and I just, like, stopped and looked at him and he's probably like, What is he doing with the camera? That poor one for you. Can you give a ride to someone? See this. Car has to be on before you can shift. Well, on the way to practice, I actually, the light at 185th, right there where the tax place was, was like super long. Because in the right turn on 185th, the right turn lane, there was a tow truck with the truck on it, and on the other side where they have that little triangle sidewalk thing where you can actually take a free, almost a free ride and thing, there was a cop car parked there so that people would have to go around, but that light, four minutes long. Wow. Like, I just hit park and I rested my foot. So yeah, we're off to Red Robin. Well, I got me the chili, chili cheeseburger thing because we had a coupon for, whoa, that dropped off. <laughs> that we had a coupon for the buy one gourmet burger, get one half off. Yeah. And I figured, well, I should get a gourmet burger then. Which, the Burn and Love burger is a gourmet burger. It's also, I also then realized that I don't have to always get a spicy burger. So I got me the chili cheeseburger. The chili cheeseburger. Because a gourmet burger is their burgers. It's their typical just anything but their tavern burgers or any special like that genesis burger i don't think that counts as for me uh, i know it's a finest burger but I... that's what i said there's also those weird burgers yeah. like the dgb DB finest G burgers yeah darn good dgb okay i don't know why i want to go with dbg but darn burger is good drizzle the drizzle there I have to go kind of against them because, like, my eyes can see against the sky all the various so things, but I have to use the camera to get against all the. Like, it wasn't raining when we went in. Yeah. But as I tell people, it rains all the time in Portland. You know, they're like, it rains so much. I don't want to move to Portland. I was like, rain is not snow. So if you're complaining right now about the snow and that it rains here too much, then realize that you can't have rain when it's freezing. And we have such weather patterns that 
when it's like our snow recently has been freaking rare. Yeah. Judging by how I'm, there may be another little dusting that comes down in like March maybe, but I'm not looking like it. It seems like we're totally done with winter right yeah. now. A dog is sleeping. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I think it would have completely <laughs> slipped down all the way if it were actually dead. It's and considering it's like if it were fully sleeping, it would have slipped down too. It's meditating. Little dog in there too. Everyone hey, take the goddamn dog to Petco. Must be the day. Get their dog all spruced up for Valentine's Day because that's what it is. Just <laughs> like everybody's like almost a weird. Day. And she's not gonna cross the light. She's got her Starbucks. Whatever. You want to talk about anything? What'd you do this morning? I talk talked about it on my phone, but... Oh, so we do have a vlog from you. Yeah. It's kind of short, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's there. Nice um, to know that I know now, even though we've already put it in the video. Could have sworn I told you, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's not, I'm not yelling at you, it's the fact that I still, and I brought this up last week, that I reference things that will happen according to the vlog when I make them, but according to the actual video as people are watching, they have the fact, it's already happened. Yeah. Hey, it's evening. Aaron and I, uh, oh, I was watching Aaron play FTL. He read through some Reddit stuff and what was the other thing? Just a general like strategy website thing? Uh, they have a Wikia, of course. Everything has a Wikia. Well, yeah. Anyways, and so he got a little bit more of the insider tips and tricks that he wasn't figuring out because Honestly, if you can figure out the inside tips and tricks of everything about a game... It stopped being fun. Yeah. Totally stopped being fun. Yeah. Well, I mean... Well, no, 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 no. What I was saying is that if you are a person that can go into a game and figure out all its tips and tricks, get outside. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Not that it becomes unfun, because... I guarantee you, I got the tips and tricks down for an arcane maid. I know how to manipulate a science vessel. I mean, I don't know how to do everything. I don't know how to damn play a death knight. And you give me an escort with a tactical officer, and I'll show you a ship that can spin like a top and shoot shit. Yeah. But you give me a science vessel that's a full-blown science vessel, or something that says, I'm a dreadnought. No, you're not. You don't have a lance. You have four weapons up front, but you basically are just a really, really fat science vessel. And this critter one is a really, really skinny science vessel. And well, technically Voyager is too. And so is it. Most science vessels are actually pretty skinny. I mean, think about it, even the Anorax is long yeah. and skinny. So we're heading on down to Subway, but it's waning. So I'm not gonna have the camera out and chat with this. So we got a thing back from Silverado. Oh, yeah. Uh, they say that they would love to, to sponsor the team but they're currently sponsoring a youth softball team, I think. So they can't afford to. But we can, we're can we totally allowed to put up a poster in their media room, wherever that is. I can always ask Robert. I swear to God he's been in there. I mean, at least we heard back from someone, finally. Yeah, we heard back from Zainab because I kept bugging her. You work with her, so... Yeah. yeah. Um, Heard back from them, heard back from... Silverado. Someone else. It wasn't Stag. It was a Black Bear. I don't think anybody actually said no. We got a strong maybe from uh, Boom, and then they didn't do anything. I think that's what you might be thinking of. Yeah. That it's sort of like, hey, maybe, and it's that sort of... Hollywood a, maybe. Appeasement maybes. Almost like a blizzard soon. Well, except we know it'll happen. We just, the blizzard soon is... Mm, <laughs> we're going to make you think it's going to come in the next month. And then we're going to make you wait 13 months in ICC. Who's on blizzard forums have started putting the TM symbol after their soons. Mm hmm Oh, well, yeah, that's been happening for a while. They did, and then now Blizzard's doing it. But that's been happening for like a year. Mm. I've seen it on the blue posts that are pertinent on MMO Champion. Anyways, so yeah, off to Subway. All right, we're home, and we're just gonna consider that Valentine's pre-dinner. 
<laughs> as I put on Facebook and the Snapchat that it's it's just easier <laughs> that way because yeah. of because like I said like tomorrow we can have Valentine's Day lunch at Maud or something. We also th thought, hey, we're lucky. Uh, here, here's the picture. Which is usually what I take pictures of him as Snapchat is when we do it at Mod. I'm like, we're having lunch! And he's like buried into his phone with like pizza in the other hand. We got ourselves a Megabucks ticket because they're 50 cents a line. So and the jackpot's up to 7.1 million. Which is crazy for that. I mean, it starts at one and climbs like... About 100,000 every, every three days. So it hasn't been one in... Months. <laughs> I think honestly it hasn't been won, the jackpot hasn't been won since the Powerball craze. Yeah. Because it doesn't grow fast, so. Because it's only Oregon, so. What the hell, we got 10 lines. Aaron's putting them into a spreadsheet now so that we can. It gives him something code E to do that's not very code E, but not FTL. I'm going to turn on the watch later, which is not too terribly important to like watch but just sort of listen to so he can listen to it in the background if something's interesting he can just stop what he's doing and like look at the screen right yeah right all right well i will see you guys in the morning because i'm gonna let aaron sleep in and i'm probably gonna record my star trek thing tomorrow morning also morning morning this is 16 i just got done recording the various things i needed to do for star trek uh for tuesday um i didn't want to go much longer without by just leaving that ship sit there so, yeah. Um, getting Aaron up here pretty soon. Like I said, it's noon. Well, like I shot forward and it like, <laughs> and I was like the other side of the system. Like what? Just fighting in a Vodwar deep space encounter. That's that. I've got the ship fully masked. You know, I got its mastery fully up there and all that happy jazz. So, <laughs> yeah, it's Sunday. There's not much going on today that I know of. Been waking Aaron up and then going to the store and probably eating mod and we're having a total pizza day on Valentine's Day. I could see like Mod having like a two bo a BOGO buy one get one half off Valentine's Day sale thing. I don't know. Heavy artillery shit. I should probably shoot your weapons out rather than shoot. That was not smart on my part. I'll steal weapon power from you though. I think Aaron will be getting up on his own and he's naked so I will see you guys here probably at the store. So I got me a haircut. Ooh, ice cream. I don't want ice cream. I do want ice cream. Do I get ice cream? That's the question. <laughs> I got the third degree because we use Suave instead of daily clarifying or whatever expensive shampoo. But yeah, she put the muck in it and now it looks nice. We're off to shopping. I remember gotta go out that door to get our uh, car. We parked by Great Clips. Oh my God, like everything is, is this the sale time of the month? Do you need any electronics? Like? Oh, okay. So, we're in the, I had to get to Waffles and I picked up more. So, I haven't really gone into this much, but Lay's is coming out with a Versus scent. You can see them all there. This Korean barbecue, and we'll probably try it at, we'll try it at home, obviously. But, I really want to try some of the other ones. Um, it's a lot of money and a lot of chips, so I wouldn't necessarily go through a taste testing sort of thing. Because that's like, we'd have to literally taste two different kinds, eight different kinds of chips, and buy eight different bags of chips, and that's a lot of money. But, Aaron, what'd you get this week Cause for your extra? Uh, or did you go with one that you already... I went with one I already had. It's the sausage, egg, and cheese burrito. Because they only have three options, it looks like. Or gotcha. three non-weird options. Oh, okay. Asparagini? It looks like regular asparagus. Yeah. Oh. Puff Chang. Asparagus and spicy fluid. Puff Chang's. They don't actually have that thing we eat. That's the appetizer, right? We looked. It's Sichuan asparagus or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to let you know that people are so worried about stuff, and I probably brought this up during the summer when I saw it, that clothing now has a, has sunscreen in it. Sunscreen. It's how effective it is at preventing sunburn. Not sunscreen. Sunscreen is a substance you put on your skin. Yeah, I know. It's the fact that these things are, I mean, I get Certified it. Certified to 
block been, UV radiation. All but one thirtieth of the UV radiation. Yeah, it's like who is wearing clothing and afraid of getting sunburn under their clothing, like. Yeah, we're here, it's like the sale stuff. You guys remember from Wednesday when I saw a bunch of the sale stuff. We've got sales on jeans. Sudpool. South Pole. I'm not really seeing any clothing. I mean, the only things I would really want to get, like new colors or new things of, would be like fission shirts, and they ain't cheap. They're still seven ninety nine. dollars Yeah. They've never, I, I, did we ever? I've never seen them not on sale. Yeah, they've always been like, Two for fifteen dollars, or seven ninety nine, or what? Like they were on six ninety nine sale ones. I think this was when we first found them, but the inflation has gone. So check this food out. Go get you some food. Maybe blood sugar sort yeah. of might have been causing it. Yeah, we're gonna go to Mod anyway. So that's what I mean. Blood sugar, and you get to sit down and drink and sugar and stop stepping on you. <laughs> Uh, everything but mushrooms. So it's very busy in here, but there's nine breadsticks and errands. Alright, come in. Oh, whatevs. Alright, so. So much food. So much food. Yeah. Did you get more toppings or something than you usually did? or? Yeah. Oh. I got spinach and extra extra cheese and my old sausage on top of my normal. Alright. I got... And spinach. Oh, he got the spinach. Well, spinach the cooks. Spinach was slick enough, not slimy really, but wet, that everything else kind of slid around. He got spinach leaves put underneath his cheese? Yeah. Yeah. So put the put garlicky white sauce down, and then put spinach leaves on top of that. Then they sprinkled the mozzarella, or as people call topping cheese, over that. People call that topping cheese. Yeah, that's what that's what um, Bob Murphy's calls it. No, no, the topping cheese from Bob Murphy's is Parmesan with uh, oregano. Hmm. Then I misread their website, because it said mozzarella topping cheese. Do you want it on half or whole, oh. or not? Mozzarella topping cheese is different. Mozzarella topping cheese is a mozzarella on top. That's what most pizza places call the topping cheese. Right. We'll just get the other one in <laughs> there. We forgot the two dollars off, which expires yeah. on the twentieth. I will definitely use that one Wednesday. <laughs> and. Did I tell the camera already about my issue? Probably not. My uh, insurance was rejected for an incredibly common medication, which tells me my insurance card is wrong. So I called them up after paying 50 bucks, which is 25 times normal, for my medication. Yeah, Zoloft. Yeah. Not. I mean, I understand I have Medicaid, Medicare, all that happy jazz, and that they pretty much will cover any drug that's subsidized by the government. <laughs> in some fashion whatsoever, but even my weird drug is covered. Yeah. You know. So mine not being covered, yeah. Yeah, like you have Providence, and I'm, I, is Providence nationwide? I can't remember, is that just local? Uh, they're Pacific Northwest. Yeah, so Providence not covering Zoloft is like... It's... It's the same card that I had at Providence, and they said, Oh, well, when you get your replacement card for this, bring that in, because we need to scan it. Oh. So, I just have the wrong card. Yeah. On happier news, on the way home, driving past the Toyota dealership... A brand new Prius! Yeah, we, we, she, the lady most likely took a right directly out of the thing, was going to go her, do her test drive kind of an older lady, and she was at the front of the right lane, and I was the front of the middle lane, because the left turn lane there. And I was like pulling up, and I saw the back, and I was like, wow, that's kind of got a decent paint job on it. It's probably one of those slicked up, souped up cars that, you know, the, the Asians or the Latinos like to put a lot of money to. That's fresh 
And as I'm seriously thinking this in my head, I get close enough and I see the Prius logo. And I went, that's a brand new spanking Prius. That's a 2016 Prius. And then I look inside and, um, and I tell Aaron, that's a new Prius. And he looks over and he's like, wow. And it's like, I'd have to say they looked to be in their 60s. Yeah, they were in their 60s and it's a 2016 Prius and we're in like a 20, 2006 Prius. And I don't do anything to terribly accelerate forward because I know for some reason the tracks there are very slick. They have no grip. Yeah. Like I've actually, like I've been just coasting and, or something. And I've, I've seen during the daytime when summer, I've, I've seen people like skid out on it. Like it has no traction. So, so I don't accelerate from that light too terribly fast. And so, yeah. Like I got through the intersection, which is a really big intersection, was doing about half the speed limit by the time I got there. And then it was like 25 miles an hour and I was like, sweet. And then all of a sudden grandma caught up to me in the 2016 Prius. And I, was, and I literally out loud was like, oh, big no. And I'm like, let's get up to 45 on this road. <laughs> and she's like laughing because it accelerated so fast. Like your mom does. In her super high output. Yeah. Is that what show stands for? Yeah. What kind of car is that? Ford Taurus. Okay. <laughs> That's a Taurus. <laughs> the car that I think has a roll cage. Mm. Anyways, so it's 315. Aaron's putting the groceries away. Um, currently says it's cloudy with a chance of not meatballs. Cloudy, rain starting in 24 minutes. Rain starting in 24 minutes, but none of these icons show even lines coming down from them. <laughs> so that rain, that rain's, oh yeah, yeah, it's not even, like, here. Yeah. I got the notification from the Amazon app, which I love. Uh, my my CPU shipped and then I got another notification like 20 minutes later arriving tomorrow I got the free shipping not even the two day the free take as long as you want shipping and it's coming next day and it's not going to Greta right no no oh, okay so yeah it's not going to Greta though I almost spaced the fact that we got those chips and probably need to try them okay okay I want cider. <laughs> so. Korean barbecue flavor. It smells like chips. I don't know what Korean barbecue is supposed to smell like. I rarely eat Korean barbecue. Because <laughs> I'm usually like, ooh, Korean barbecue grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> like scorched meat and teriyaki and welcome to Korean barbecue. This is what it tastes like. I don't know I don't know what the flavor masters at laser what fucking magicians they are. Way better than honey barbecue has any chance of being. <laughs> yeah. We have no good tele. Well, we do have good television on. It's just going to be like Family Guy and Simpsons and stuff. But there are new episodes. <laughs> so I'm like, this is his relatively like senses blow, not mind blow. Senses blow. And he's like, this can't happen. It's a fucking chip. No. Anyways. Got snacks for tomorrow. We'll see you guys in the morning for Aaron's day off. I don't know. Morning, morning. Awkward day off again. Yay. Are you getting paid for this though? Yeah. Okay. I I know it's a hot. The, to me, is it just, tell me I'm not going crazy. To me, when I think President's Day, I think the 20th for some reason. For me, President's Day just kind of happens. I have never cared about President's Day. I think as a respective citizen, I'd care more about German Unity Day than I would our own President's Day. Not that they're even respectively the same style of holiday. East and West became one. Okay. Just, I figured the name of that for German Unity Day. <laughs> Not that President's Day, I mean, we would basically be, our version of Unity Day would be celebrating the end of the Civil War, basically. Yeah. That would be anything close to 
But I still wouldn't celebrate that. Hmm? I don't even know what day that, that would be considered the end. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We celebrate the end is the, what, the Gettysburg Address? Yeah. And we don't even celebrate that, but I'm like, when did the Civil War end? I think we could collectively consider it the Gettysburg Address, is what it is. Well, our drawing is tonight, and then two coupons for two dollars off. <laughs> Just because we need to stack them up there. You're looking itchy. You want to say something? No, I was going to show you the uh, mouse I drew. I traced. I'm expecting you to freeform for freehand anything. I was thinking there might have been an actual clip art piece that you wouldn't have had to done anything. I... I... <laughs> I probably could have. <laughs> but... I was asking him to just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not alone, but completely redesign the icon that's not just a fridge magnet of the vlog. So in case we, I don't know, won something or we won like a lottery and wanted to like sponsor the team, we would actually be able to put something on there that's not technically property rights of someone else because technically the person made that yeah. magnet. So if we make our one ourselves... And then that would be okay, but it's not. <laughs> and I'm like trying to get Aaron to do this, and he's like, I got it! And I'm like, I have no real physical picture artistic talent. I can design music to video pretty decently. But when it comes down to pictures and setting stuff up and arranging things, like decorating a room is terrible for me. I just, I, I do very bad at it, but my artistic endeavors are not making pictures very laid out well. All right, well, that's the end of this week. I have a Schroeder appointment today, which is four minute, or not even that. Like, I get called back, I swear to God, I'm in his office, and the outer door is almost closed by the time I'm out. <laughs> but, you know, he gets me my pills. So I don't collapse onto the ground in the middle of field, in the middle of practice. <laughs> Makes sense? That's the idea. That's the idea. At least. Well, it worked, right? I didn't. Yeah. I was like, he's pausing so long. Maybe I did. I found a... Oh, don't scare me like that. I thought maybe I would. I actually did collapse to the ground in the middle of practice. And... No, you did not collapse to the ground in the middle of practice. This morning, and I got to get another thing of coffee. I was playing Star Trek and collecting all my Kernum science vessels on the rest of everybody else. We'll probably talk about Deadpool if we see it. I'm not sure if we're going to, if the theater's all jam-packed. I mean, I don't mind people being in the theater, but if it's jam-packed, it's just like, no, I don't want to yeah. do that. It's possible that during the middle of the day, but considering I had a bunch of Snapchats from people that were doing weird things at the, like, I got a bunch of Snapchats this morning from, like, people that should be going to school today, but instead they were doing stuff on Snapchat at, like, midnight. <coughs> So, I'm thinking this is also a school holiday, too. Damn kids' education's suffering because people need the holidays. Anything for the bye-bye? Uh, Why are you looking at first, Burke? Because I want to put the little Facebook logo slash Portland Pitbulls. All right. <laughs>